<laughs> oh, should we just no. make up a third editor that doesn't exist, like Tom, Jacob, and Frank, or Jingleheimer, <laughs> Jingleheimer, Black the third guy. <laughs> and Steven? Who like we like Steven the best though? Blackface Steven, <laughs> Blackface Steven, <laughs> Tom, Jacob, and Blackface Steven. <laughs> That's right, Blackface Steven. I want to thank Tom Ryan, Jacob, Jacob, and Blackface Steve. Steve. Why do you always laugh at Blackface Steve? <laughs> you, think it's funny? you think it's funny that a black guy can edit the podcast really good? Blackface Steve. I think it's funny that you refer to him as Blackface. It's like people don't call us like white Whiteface. Blackface, blackface Steve was the guy who fucking <clears throat> Captain Dickhead talked about yeah, in the last no, one. I just Steve. think of that stupid Adam Sandler movie, the Scuba Steve. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> Big Daddy. Yeah, Scuba Steve. I don't like that movie. I don't like it. I just thought that one thing is stupid funny for some Who the fuck reason. wants a toy called Scuba Steve? <laughs> just a scuba diver. <laughs> Corey, it's cool. <laughs> what an awful fucking toy! It's like you could get anything. It's like getting one of those like off-brand uh, like Ghostbusters toys. That, like, it's like Spelunking hideous. Samuel. No one cares about it. <laughs> Spelunking's lame. Whoa! Uh, was like fucking fucking action mountain climber. He comes with like his little fucking hook. Attach mountain climber to any mountain and watch him go. And then he like slides down the rope and you're like whoa! <laughs> and then it's like boring. After yeah, there's always these like <laughs> extravagant toys that are like yeah um this is mountain climber. Jack, like, and then you have to like set up his like little mountain climbers and hug it into a table or something. It's and like, it don't even work. It's like a kid would rather just imagine the wires are there and just not have to set it all up. I always say when you get a toy and it can't fucking stand up. Should, right? we, st- <laughs> should we officially start? This? Okay. Whatever. This episode of Sleepy Cast is brought to you by our cool editors. Yeah. Tom. Tom Ryan. Tom Jacob. Jingleheimer Smith. <laughs> Blackface yeah. Steve and my friends too. <laughs> it's not how it goes. Whenever I go out, the people always shout. They say, "Who's the racist fucking N word?" <laughs> what are you talking about? That doesn't even make sense. We're trying to get the link. We're trying to bump our fucking editors. Let's just, laugh, let's just leave all that. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> just a cold opener in there. <laughs> there is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet. Unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Home of the, home of the Sleepy Cast. <laughs> Uh, featuring Blue Eyed Jeff. Hello, again. Long haired Corey. <sighs> and really ugly Chris. Hey. Welcome to Sleepy Cast, starring Jeff, Chris, <laughs> and Corey. <laughs> What's with this voice? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Sleepy Cast, starring Jeff, Chris, and Corey. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey, you it's know. me, Chris. Welcome we have a special announcement. What, what is, is it, Corey? I'll let you tell it, Corey. We're resigning. <laughs> Yep, you know, that wasn't the announcement. I'm out of here. Oh, Chris We're... is uh, 9,000 Audi. What does that mean? 5,000 Audi. That's what it is. 500 Audi. Audi 5,000? What is that? <clears throat> Audi 5,000? Is it Audi 5,000? Yeah. You know, Corey, that was just too far. That was too <laughs> far in my brain to know what the fuck you were talking about. I don't about. know. It's like a saying, nerd say. You know, due to last week's episode, mm. where we were... Uh, over the line, completely over the line. What did we do? Our pressure from our advertisers, now we have to tone it down to a G rating from now on. Oh, on the podcast. Well, what, all we did was say racist mean things. <clears throat> that was fine. Due to the FCC telling Chris that brown nose is not acceptable <laughs> for a podcast. Brown nose? Yeah. Brown. I was saying brown, brown noses the whole time. Brown, brown noses. Brown That's nosers. what I was saying. Oh. I wasn't saying That's brown That's alright then. Misunderstanding. They call old people. I would never be that. You call old people gray nose? <laughs> <laughs> like Grainos. Like Raisin Bran, like look at these Grainos over here. It's so Corey, stupid. You're a maniac. <laughs> Uh, Corey, do you have any cool topics? Oh, uh, I like the topic we were talking about with, like, stupid toys nobody would fucking ever buy. Like, Scuba Steve, nobody would buy that. No one would buy a Mountain Climber Guy, and no one would buy anything that's, like, fucking, like... Does anybody <laughs> have any idea what any of this stuff is? Power Drill Man. Just like, you know, when you go to a toy store when you were little, we're gonna go on toys again, it's just an easy tangent. When you go to a toy store, and you would see these other fucking toys that, like, you know, you need, a, you need to make your collection of toys cool. So you have your, like, cool toys you get, and then you have these other toys that are just from, like, they're, like, the villains from, like, forgotten Disney films that nobody would ever play with. Here's a question. Let's play a game. Yeah. Name, name a recent popular movie that toys would have been made of that movie. Just name one. Well, like Transformers? Transformers. Okay, that's a Transformers. What's what's the toy that would have sold the... What's the worst selling toy out of that movie? The fucking two black robots? Yeah. With the, or the one with the big ball? Who's that one Asian guy who drank the juice on the top of the, <laughs> on top of the building? What? 
<laughs> the one goofy guy with a weird comb over here, dude. Nobody would buy his fucking toy. I don't think any little bo- boy would buy a Megan Fox action figure. <laughs> who would, who Her ass would be like really small. Actually, yeah, they would. Yeah, they'd get horny. Over them. What's oh, the they, worst they toy in the ass. Star Wars movie? Um, the new one. Yeah, the fucking um, old uh, yellow lady. Yeah, the nasty bug-eyed bitch that nobody <clears throat> cares about. The thing that was oh, almost safe, as bad looking as Jared. Safe Jar-Jar, call there, guys. Gave it a free pass. <laughs> you do a chicken shit. That's what I think. Anyway, what you mean the girl? <laughs> That's what you were it. talking about. I didn't say it. He was. You were misogynistic. I was gonna say the black stormtrooper, dude. Everybody wants the black stormtrooper and the girl, because then they can he can get them together and make them like fuck each other. Corey, that's, that's what I true. Would do. It's terrible, Corey. It's very true. That, I mean, that's what you when you had, had a girl and a boy toy, they know each other. I was gonna say the uh, the star destroyer, but you know it's <laughs> not star a racist destroyer. like you guys. <laughs> Fucking, you know that little round robot? He would be a bad toy because he could never stand up without you holding. They him. built. They made him into a toy, and it actually works. He's a stuffed animal. Well, yeah, but that's a little electronic toy. Yeah, he puts his thumb out and everything. Look, if I buy a toy of the little black storm trooper and then I buy a working robot <laughs> the robot scale will be like 10 times bigger than him you know what blows my completely mind completely out of whack what? if we're talking about like this kind of stuff you know when you see like these gifts of these parents who make these like fucking costumes for these kids <laughs> where like are just amazing costumes like yeah. you like see someone who was wearing like an alien costume and yeah. the kid's like fucking standing like he's in a street fighter game and like an action pose <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he shoots at his tongue and it actually like comes out with like a little tongue and stuff and goes back in it's just like how do you Listen, do this? We can talk about Halloween costumes in March. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say the, my favorite one is the one of this dude he built. He dressed up his little girl as the Ellen Ripley in the Power oh, Loader yeah, and Aliens. Cool, and really? He was the Power Loader and he just had her in a, like a harness on his chest. And she looked like she was riding <laughs> a big as Mac him. Robot. Yeah, she was a, yeah, riding a robot in a robot. That's fucking it was awesome. Cool. I saw this like kid who. <laughs> just like this like five year old kid who's like sucking on his thumb. <clears throat> then his dad's like, do the thing. And he fucking like. Turns into like a little vehicle because he's like a robot. <laughs> and then that. he turns into like a fire truck and drives away and then gets up again. <laughs> so it's like, how the fuck does kids know to do that? Because he just knew to like kind of turn into like this thing and look like a robot. They probably took a video of it and showed him how to do it. Get real tiring going to every single house and transforming for every single parent yeah. on the street. <laughs> Your fucking parents are like turning. I got around. a Halloween costume story that Tell. has haunted me for many years. Tell us. When I was a little boy, there was a Halloween costume contest, mm-hmm. and whoever had the scariest contest wins the grand prize of a bag of candy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so my dad owns a store where he so where he, like every Halloween he'd sell the masks, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, Dad, I need the scariest mask you got, and he brought home this mask that was really scary, right? Uh-huh. It was like it was like all these faces, but in one face. So, but it looked creepy, and I was like, That's gonna win, right? Yeah, so yeah. we went to the contest. It was all these kids who made their own costumes, like this one girl wrapped herself up with like toilet paper <laughs> and another girl who got these like fake scars and like she just stuck them onto her face so she looked like she was cut up pirate. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I was right. like, these, these stink, they're not even scary, they look <laughs> crap, right? So, fucking, the fucking, You're like stepping the moment of truth comes, costumes. right? They, they drag out a bunch of kids from the crowd because, and they put them all in a big long line of like 20 kids, right? And I was yeah. one of them and I was like, yes, I fucking won, right? And then she fucking, the, the girl with the fucking toilet paper won it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was creative. <laughs> she made her own costume. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. You, you can't expect those kinds of like kids things. They're completely unfair. I know what you're what talking um, about, though. Like they're saying, yeah, the scariest costume. Yeah, well, that's not fucking scary. It's toilet paper. Yeah. Oh, she's like, pr- I get that she was creative and all that shit, and she I cheated. Would, she probably would have bawled her fucking eyes <clears throat> out if she lost, and they would have been like, give her a consolation prize. Come on. All I'm saying is that I was the scariest. You should have, like, fucking... And if you're listening now, contest lady, fuck you. What what costumes are going to be really tired, like, overdone this coming year? Oh, uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. The fucking Kylo Ren boy. Okay. Um, one Punch Man is it going to be every oh, every yeah. day it's gonna one, be one Punch, punch Man? man. That's more of a, a cosplay <clears> thing, <throat> probably. That'll probably be everywhere cosplay wise. Yeah, I can't really think honestly. Like it'll be Star Wars this year. I mean, it's like nobody's going to represent their boys, Batman and Superman. Nobody cares. <laughs> Batman's always going to be there. Batman will be there, but no one's going to re- represent them together. I could see people being Batman. Was, nobody Anyone, wants to be. Maybe some, maybe some fucking wonder, sad losers. Wonder <laughs> some Wonder Women. <laughs> there was that one year where every little girl was Elsa. Yeah, no, everyone. I mean, everyone will be like Batman and Superman because they're. Their dads and their kids like it, but I think people might probably be Deadpool. That's another one people oh, will probably yeah, be. Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, Deadpool. There's gonna be a surge of Deadpool costumes. Um, All those are not gonna work. All the eye holes are just the eyes aren't gonna be white. Yeah. They're just gonna be these <laughs> terrible. Like everybody's gonna be wearing a ski mask. Oh, everyone's gonna be dressed up as hot dogs for whenever that one movie comes oh. out. Wiener Party. <laughs> when Wiener Party, Party comes yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone le- really was, doesn't like that movie so far. Like every single. It's a fucking tra- oh, the trailer showed the entire movie, and people were like, "I'm so excited for this fucking movie." It's like you, it ruined it for you. Hot oh, dogs gonna say fuck. I can't. Wait, like, I, don't yeah. want, I, I don't want to go on a tangent about a movie, but it's like, I've always felt, and this isn't really a tangent about a movie, but it's what, I've always felt that 
What's his name? Fucking Seth Rogen is becoming the next, like he's trying to become the next fucking like South Park boys, like the next, um, what's their name? Matt and Trey. Yeah. He's really trying to be the next, because with well, the interview, that was supposed to be like Team America. Like, oh, look, we're edgy with Team America style, but mm-hmm. it sucked. It had no, it couldn't hold a candlelight through that movie. And then like, um, honestly, all the movies he's written have done horrible. They've all done bad, except for This Is The End, but he didn't even write half the movie. Really? Yeah, his like, little tiny Jewish friend wrote it. I, I thought that whole concept <laughs> would have been like, would have been really cool, where it's like the first big like adult kind of, you know, animated movie or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but it's just, but it's try hard all, all of the fucking dialogue was just like, Oh, fuck, man! It's, Holy shit! It's like, that's yeah. a really good set throw. It's like, cool. <laughs> yeah, you've never said that kind of stuff before. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so yeah, everyone's gonna be dressed up as hot dogs, Kylo Ren, and Deadpool. And Seth Rogen. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Everyone's gonna be like, <laughs> all the kids are gonna bring, carry their blood to their baggies. <laughs> Oh man, you know, Pineapple Express is one of my favorite movies. That is a good movie. But it's like, the problem is, it's like these writers, they they get in this thing where they write so much movies and they write comedy movies that they forget how to write. Mm. And I think Seth Rogen has fallen into that line where he's like, his comedy is just borderline inside jokes like all the stuff he releases like inside jokes sometimes like like i i really like super bad and i like you know pineapple express did he write that yeah he wrote that Mm -hmm. it's like ancient though and it's like i feel like the older he gets the less funnier he gets just every time i see him now he's still doing the same old like it's me oh my god yeah my god it's like yeah play someone else please i'll say this why i respect the south park guys way more than Seth Rogen. exactly well no no those guys one reason though, those guys stay off social media. They never get oh, into no, petty yeah. arguments online with. They just with, hear with stuff. Is Seth Rogen? Yeah, I think he does. Really? Yeah. Probably. He gets into arguments with people. Okay. On Twitter. Yeah, Twitter, really Twitter weird. arguments. <laughs> Seeing Twitter celebrities arguments. on Twitter is the weirdest shit ever. There's yeah. that one guy who, like, uh, he's, he's like a guy you actually enjoyed. He did, like, in, the two Irish sitcoms you actually enjoyed. Oh, yeah, and Green Lennon. Like, like a massive. He's a, he's a piece of shit. He's, like, the most horrible person you'll ever see on Twitter. <laughs> he's this, like, old man who harasses people from their Facebook. Yeah. No, really? so you've seen the IT crowd of Father Ted, right? No. Okay, right. If you're Irish, I know. I, I know the account you're talking about. I saw who you were talking about. His account is Glenner. But if you're an Irish person, Father Ted is very. Cl- is, it's just dear to your heart, no matter who you are. Everyone loves Father Ted, right? Okay. So then one day, I just. How old saw- is it? How old is the show? Recent? Or? Uh, it's the 1990s. 90s. Okay. But anyways, um, <clears throat> one day I'm on Twitter and I see like everyone's like shouting at him. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And it's just he's just calling people. Like ugly, uh, retarded gamer gators, and I'm like, oh, is this about Gamergate? And then, then you look into what he's responding to, and nobody's talking about it. So he's just bringing up Gamergate whenever people disagree with him. He's like, you're just a bunch of faggot gamer gator losers. <laughs> he, he, yeah, just and like, he heard like, buzzwords and they just yeah. constantly ringing his so head. Weird. He, he, he saw the whole Zoe Quinn article thing, uh. and he's like. Those fucking pieces of shit, motherfuckers, right? And then Zoe Quinn's like, who's this faggot? But anyways, <laughs> he, he, like, defends, like, girls from Gamer Gators, even though he doesn't know what the hell it's about or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So one day I'm like, wow, that's really fucked up that he just goes around insulting people. He doesn't even know what they're talking about. And he's like, yeah, well, you're a shithead Gamer Gator. And he, like, blocked me. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so then, then uh, if, if you just, like, look up uh, Graham Lynn on Twitter, you'll see all the shit he says to people. It's fucking nuts. He's just, like, he's a tool. He, like, rants and rapes. Sorry, we're gonna... No, I'm just I'm just, like, I'm just like, how do we break down these people like this guy that they wake up every morning and get that's their coffee what I'm and they're, saying. Just, they're, look, they're always just looking for a fight. They're always looking. Totally. That, that's, like, he's on Twitter like all the time. It's, who wake, yeah, who wakes up and they're just like, hmm. Like, I mean, I see it and it, it upsets me, but I don't actively yeah. want to be like, let's, what's going on on BuzzFeed today? Like, what, what feminist issues? What stupid shit are they that's saying? That's literally it. But like, he goes out of his way to avoid people being like, but Graham, uh, there's proof of blah, blah, blah. And he's like, fuck you. And he blocks them instantly. Oh, absolutely. And there's that, there's that girl shoe on head where, um, he was like, all these Gamer Gator with girl pictures are obviously just sock puppets, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I'm not. He's like, look at this one. Ha <laughs> And like, tweet a picture of her. And what is a sock puppet again? A sock puppet is an account Fake that you account. make to, to, to like, be like a to disingenuous troll. To or own. troll. To troll to own people. Yeah. Like a sock puppet is just like, it's when you make an account to look like you're someone else. Okay. So when. Like you're pretending to be the, the other side of yeah, the Yeah. So if you see like a comment on like a video it? and there's like a hundred comments and there's like no pictures of yeah. them and the names are like, like Davis, one, two, three, um, but. <laughs> 42 like to him stuff, a sock like puppet words. is a person who made like a 10 accounts to to drive his point across you know okay so that's, that's what it is to him okay. but like she's like i'm not a sock puppet that's me you idiot and he's like Haha, as if like this girl like is a gamer gator and then all these other girls were like yeah we're all gamer gators like what the hell are you talking about and he'll block all of them because yeah. he gets proven wrong he's just like this like bitter prick uh, last thing i want to say is he like his like go to argument of recent is the the Dead or Alive game isn't coming to America. Right, right. So right. his like his like big thing is like, well, these game nerds can't get their titties. And it's like the point the people aren't mad. 
because the game isn't coming to America. They're mad because of it's how like, over censored, uh, over censored everything. And they're that's ma- the yeah, they're mad why. because yeah, it got censored and not released because of people who aren't even going to play it. Exactly, this like tough this, guys like giving it. He's giving it to the the giving nerds the business. Yeah. Pretty much. So he's like Fucking nerds. Yeah, and he's like going to, nerds. I don't know how old this guy is. If it's he's like, like fifty five, yeah, this or like fifty five year old assholes going to these guys' Facebook page and like. Fucking looking them up and being like, look at this guy. Yeah, I'm sure your mom would be proud of you. It's like, what kind of freak? He goes on other people's profiles and scours for pictures to own oh, them. Yeah, he did that. There was a guy who was just like, oh, yeah, Graham, was- you're a fucking asshole. And then he he like stalked his Facebook, copied a picture of him and his mom, yeah. looked up his mom's name, and then posted it. It was yeah. like, what would Joe think? It's yeah, like, what kind of level what the fuck of autism is wrong with you? That? You're fucking weirdo. He's, that's what, a, that's what he would me. consider a gamer gator to do. He's that's what he would consider get, harassment. He's really going, the you know anger's making him crazy. Yeah, he's going to be laying in his bed, fucking coughing up dust. He's going to be like, I wasted my life. It's I'm a it. loser. But and like, then, but that's gonna come in, right? And he's gonna be like, "I'm a gamer gay, you faggot." He's gonna fucking cut his head off. I'm like hell, is gamer gay? And he's like, "No, no." And then fucking hell, there's no internet, so people can talk shit. There's nothing you can do. That's a gamer gay. That's a gamer. He supports all. He's like all about that shit. Look, people get harassed online, men and women. Oh my God, it's stupid. It's Death. stupid to even just make a big you thing about what? it. Most harassers are just twelve-year-old kids looking to troll. That's all it is. Yeah, I don't know where this army of women, women hating guys. I don't, uh, what there's, is it? It's like an army of guys who hate women. It's always just and people who want to destroy them in the, the the industry. This is every single case I've seen of it. Is a, a okay. Girl, a girl <laughs> online does something fucked up. She yeah. gets people mad at her, and then she claims harassment. That's every yeah. single case. Remember that video? And the, there's these weirdos that don't talk to women that don't get me wrong. There's fucking creeps believe everywhere. Them. But do you remember that video with that like uh, guy who was getting harassed by that like ignorant black woman who was like, "You're insulting our heritage." Oh yeah, the, your, the dreadlocks with your fucking guy. Dreadlocks. Did you see that? I did. I saw that video. This is like this We're, stupid black woman. She's like, he's fucking probably like, it's like you didn't invent dreadlocks. She's like, that's my culture. Mil- it's called mil- having dirty hair. Militant black woman. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, that's my culture, you can't it's do so that. It's so funny how racist yeah, okay. this thing gets, where, it's not even racist, but you can tell, like, when a popular comment gets traction, it starts appearing in every single comment <laughs> section <laughs> yeah. of this video, and the one is, uh, like, when they're, like, when she's saying, oh, yeah, you're appropriating, you know, black culture hair, yeah. they're like, well, well, you're appropriating, uh, clothes and cars <laughs> and buildings from the white people, <laughs> you bitch. <Yeah. laughs> it's like, it's like wow, this is just this is just get out of control now. It's just we're just. I just don't get why everyone can't be okay with each other. Like I don't get what's the problem. He wants dreadlocks. He, ma- he makes him think he looks cool. What's the problem? Know. I don't. I don't. I don't understand the cultural appropriation thing at all. No, it makes no sense. It's a bad thing. That's, it's true. Like they're wearing jeans. It's like yeah, give the jeans back then. You can't share culture. I don't know what is this like. This is this weird. They want racism to be segregated. They, it's like, I don't understand. I'm so lost. It's like this next level of wanting to be segregated, it's but like, also wanting to be accepted. Martin Luther King did all this work to bring everyone together, and then there's, there's like no, like they, they treat him like a god, yeah. and then they go against what he wants. These rich black people come in, and they're like, no, you need to respect us, but also fear us. <laughs> I like think of things of these things. And patterns and waves, you know, like the okay, black students are like, we want to be segregated, and then like in the year like 2027, they're like, all right, we want to be reintegrated, yeah, and then like 2056, they want to be, you know, it just keeps going. It's like a yeah, it's stupid because it's like it's like topic, but it's like a small minority of people that really want to be a part of this shit, yeah, because half the people. That of like of different color of varying color they don't give a fuck they're just Everyone like just I don't give a shit be happy with they're like other. I'm tired of being associated with these retards these fucking crazy people <laughs> you can kind of tell they, these people they kind of forget what a small minority they are just how loud they are but like when that video came out 99 percent of people were angry yeah. at this video yeah they weren't supporting it yeah, because this woman she literally she literally like cornered him so he couldn't leave she put her she was grabbing she him. she cornered him yeah yeah and he was just like listen I'm trying to leave and she was like she's trying to get her away <laughs> he's from just him. the like, least threat White guy, too. He's like, look, look, man. I just wanna. Yeah, he's trying to get leave away. Leave me alone, man. No, and then she puts her hand smoke on him. Some weed, man. Leave me alone. It's so fucked up. She puts her hand yeah. on him, and then yeah. she sees the camera. She says, "Don't put your hand on me." It's like, what the fuck is it your problem? You horrible bitch. That was like that funny video. <laughs> It's the same. Did you guys see the fighting game, the, the fighting game tournament video? The, oh god, with that like a guy who, gets up and who then bitch this is. Who <laughs> bitch this is? <laughs> he stands up and he's like, he's like looking at her like he doesn't know what the she's fuck is strong, going. Strong man. She put her big fat mitts on him and she's gonna throw him to the ground. He's just like, what is happening here? 
He didn't even do anything. Did, just, did she try to say like he was harassing her? And everyone's like, "You're a fucking idiot." Her and her, her, and her friends were getting upset that he was getting a little. T- he was, you know, jumping up and down in the chair, getting a little too, uh, you know, excited about. He was what do you of, expect? It's Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. He Everybody was getting, fucking he was getting screams all and hyped up. He was getting all hyped up, which nobody cares about. It's just this the, the, part the, of it. It's just the scene. It's a, you like you but, beat someone, you're like, sit down. Yeah, they, shut they, they, they were up, getting, they were getting upset that he couldn't just take the victory and like leave it. He's no, like, good that's game not what and shake her hand and leave. But now, Corey. He, Corey, yes. if you were to have anyone in the world on the podcast, who would it be? <laughs> who I want on the podcast that I've always wanted on the podcast. Mm. I want, who I really want on the podcast uh, is Harry. I do oh, something. yeah. That's I, legit. I, I love Harry. Harry. We'll be, he'll probably come on on Pico Day. Is he coming? Yep. Okay, good. Awesome. I think. I hope. I we hope. should get him and a few other people. There's a lot it's of gonna, people I know it's going to be really hard to wrangle some people together. I'm trying to think who I'd have on. I would have Jack Black on because I love Jack Black. I'd have... Um, Jim Carrey. Oh, God, uh, yeah. Steven Seagal. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Steven Seagal? Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, I'd love to do a podcast with. Isn't Steven yeah. Seagal, like, super old now? Yeah, he's crazy now. So he would be a great podcast yeah. member. I want to have Eastwood. that... Eastwood. Oh, Clint man, Eastwood? Clint was cool. I want to have that guy on who did the Coney 2012 documentary. That'd be cool. <laughs> Didn't he, like, eat off his skin? Eat off all of his skin? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he ate his own skin? <laughs> he ate off all of his skin. Yeah. You're such a spastic... <laughs> He did not do anything of the sort. Yeah, he ran. He like bit off a chunk of his skin and ran outside, and he was because he fucking did a bunch of bath salts after like winning all the money for Coney Twenty. Corey, he got naked. That's all that happened. No, he bit off someone's face like a wild ape. How is Coney doing? Oh, uh, Coney's Co- no one fucking is cares. He, is, he, is he doing well? He today, was fucking Coney? murdered by his children like <laughs> prisoners. They found him. He had fucking like spoons and forks stabbed in him, and they took a picture of him. They got the help of the ape warriors living in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, they, fed, they went to the they went to the giant ape huts, and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> and the apes came out with their fucking sticks, and they fucking ran over to Cody and beat him to death with it. <laughs> they hey, took wait, his wait. car and fucking yeah. smashed it like a violin or to like the, a, the ape world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, he got he gathered the ape warriors. They got the big, they got the big Coney twenty twelve check, and they they ripped it apart and gave it to the two eight monkeys. Why would Coney have the check? The whole point was to get rid of Coney. The kids, the kids gave it. They ripped it and gave it to him. So what you're saying is, when they raised all that money, they turned it to a big check, threw it across the ocean like a paper airplane. The kids got kids. It. Okay, it's got it. They ran to the woods as fast as they could. They ripped the check, gave it to the monkeys. <laughs> He gave a solemn a s- a snort, a solemn... <clears throat> an oath. An oath, okay. They beat their chest. <laughs> and the apes ran to Coney's hut and fucking smashed it like a... <laughs> what do you call those things? <laughs> the fucking poker people, poker, poker players play? An accordion. an accordion. He fucking smashed it like an accordion and then Coney guts flew everywhere. <laughs> and they rejoiced. Coney 2012! <laughs> he rejoiced. Everybody's... So why did they upload that video? It was. It was I too, paid good money for it. The apes threw like the paper in the air and like came out like fucking confetti. <laughs> That's the was, only reason people donated money was to see all that unfold. Yeah, <laughs> I would have donated. <laughs> I could have watched that happen. Yeah, get your shit together. Next time, talk about monkey huts being smashed. We had, yeah, we had we had drones with like turrets also that came and like scouted everything off, picked off the monkeys when they were done. The monkey turret Tony. bamboo drones. <laughs> They saw that they were done with Cody, so they fucking shot darts and then blew off their heads with fucking rockets that were touched to him as well. <laughs> to hide the evidence to make it seem like America won. Oh, that's so funny. So isn't that what Cody did? He, like, captures kids and turns them into no, worm- I don't even know anymore. Wormongers? He turns them into little drones. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the kids... <laughs> He puts the kids in bamboo huts, and they, they crank these, like, bamboo levers, and they fly around in the air shooting darts at people. <laughs> Tourists are walking, they shoot fucking poisonous darts, and they lace with frog guts, and fucking... Poison. And they're like, help us Americans, please donate! <laughs> There's gonna be a fucking wind of, like, Ebola and fucking, like, elephant flu, like, coming in, like, a fucking tornado. It's gonna fly over Is the ocean. Is elephant flu a thing, or did you just make that up? Isn't swine flu. <laughs> The Ebola and swine flu and syphilis and like a big spinning cl- like tornado is gonna fly over the water into a hurricane form with all these kids and they're fucking torn propellers. You're in elementary school where you do your teachers like stop making shit up, Corey. <laughs> you know they're just constantly making. Are you shit saying? Up. Are you saying, Corey, that right now Coney is creating a tornado of AIDS, <laughs> syphilis, and swine flu to shoot across the ocean to America? Using kill us his all. weather machine, yes. His bamboo drones all spinning a huge tornado with the kids inside. He created a weather machine using household bamboo appliances. <laughs> He's fashioned himself a... Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's good. 
<laughs> I like that. No, they killed him. With bamboo. No. Are you sure he was killed? No, no one knows. People think he died before the documentary was even made. Yeah, he, no. like... It was just a big scam. Yeah, the documentary was made, um, because the thing is, like, the Coney 2012, it happened, like, in 2008 or 9, that, like, Coney was relevant. Coney, yeah, he was relevant. So he probably got, like, he probably did actually get ripped apart by an ape in the woods. <laughs> like, just by that carelessly, more than likely what carelessly happened. wasting all his bullets and got molted at That's definitely what happened. Or a fucking jaguar, one of those things. It was a true ape. <laughs> Would you be more scared of an ape or a chimpanzee? You know, I was just, I was literally thinking about this earlier today. I think the chimp, because I've seen enough videos chimp. where if you're calm, the apes don't bother you. You know, apes are fine. <clears throat> apes will walk up to you and grab your foot and walk away. Yeah, they'll like pet you. But or, a chimpanzee like, wants to fuck. We, we, like we wants to uh, like challenge whatever. Are apes it sees. like the big black looking chimpanzees? Apes like, are the big, uh, hairy black ones. <laughs> you know, Tarzan. His dad is an ape. It's a gorilla. It's a silverback gorilla. Oh, gorilla. Silverback yeah. gorillas. An ape is a class, uh, or a gorilla is a class of ape, right? It's a great I ape. I suppose. Orangutan is an ape. I don't ape. really know the official scientific classifications of monkeys, but... Pretty much, an ape is a monkey that looks more human than the other monkeys. Ooh. <laughs> no! Ooh. But uh -oh. what I'm saying is... Okay, so if I saw a gorilla... I would go inside and I'd look outside at it. And if he smashed through the door, I'd run upstairs and close the door. But if a monkey did that, or a, a chimpanzee did that, he'd keep slapping on the door until he got in and kill you. He'd rip off your fingers and your ears and your eyes. It's funny, like, the word, the two worst, <laughs> like, the two smartest animals, the, like, chimps and dolphins. And elephants. Like, and they're, like, the worst. Elephants. Yeah, they're horrible. They're monsters. Elf, I wouldn't count out, but those two. Like, yeah. do dolphins, do should big dolphins versus monkeys Dolphins or are just horny. But they're, yeah, they're just really horny and angry and mean and violent. <laughs> and, and apes are just really horny, angry, and mean. And gorillas, wild. gorillas just sit there chilling out all day. They're just like. Ugh. Do you think if you threw a rock at a gorilla, he would even finish? <laughs> he, he would get he would really kill mad. You. He would kill you. He would <laughs> run over to you and grab you by the hair and throw you over the woods. What if I was flying? You would be flying. <laughs> When I was in my fucking bamboo drone, fucking throwing rocks at him, what would he do then? He'd fucking take a big stick and fucking whale well it at me. He'd fucking make no a big slingshot me. bamboo, th like, catapult and fire himself at you. Yeah, no, yeah, he'd take a big stick and, like, stick it up in my fucking propeller and stop me. I'd fall down, break my arm, and then he'd fucking smash me. <laughs> There's always, uh, you, you see a lot of videos of people going to see the silverbacks in the woods, and they're, uh, like, the silverbacks are like, what the fuck? And they'll just walk over and, like, drag you for a bit and then let you go and walk away. They, they, they just don't care, they're just nice. That's because to you, they're like, this guy's a pussy. You Pretty much. Tiny. He's a little weakling. Exactly. I think as long as you're not threatening to their children or something, they mm. usually don't care. Do you think if you dressed up in ape clothes, like you had like one of those monkey costumes, you went over and just started like <laughs> monkeying around, <laughs> just like hanging out? You, you know, know they did that in, in a, what's called Wild wild Boys. <laughs> boys, really? They yeah, did I think, yeah, they dressed up as gorillas and were like fucking with the gorillas. Do they actually like... Yeah, I think so. Oh no, they dressed up as bananas. That was what it was. <laughs> yeah. Big, huge banana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I used to love Steve O and Chris Ponches. I know. I would love to have Chris Ponches on the podcast. They're all, they're all dead now. No, no, no. no they're not. <laughs> What's the other one? What's the other one? That's he's in rehab now or Bad something. Oh yeah. my god, did that you guys see? A mess. Dude, did you see Steve O's like documentary? That's like the saddest yeah. thing. I, I really like Steve O. I like him too, but man, his documentary is like you want to see a depressing like drug story about yeah. someone who just like has no idea what they're doing with their life at one point. That whole crew, man, what a mess. Johnny Knoxville, it's I wonder pretty... if he escaped. <laughs> what? Somehow. I like Johnny Knoxville. No, no, I... no he seems all right, but I don't no, even know what happened cool. to him. But he's like, he seems like the only one that got out without yeah, falling into a drugs, well. drug I really, fueled. Because uh... uh... he has a good face for like movies. Like he has a good like action face. Johnny Knoxville ba or fucking Chris Pontius and Steve O are my favorites. Yeah. The rest of them just had all these millions to just blow on. I don't like that guy and... who takes he shits on everything. The Dave, one who Dave oh, England, yeah, I'm not he a shits fan everywhere. Of that guy. The one who 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 died. Oh, I love him. I really liked him. He was my favorite. Ryan Dunn. Until he got I, I was drunk and though, drove down the road 150 miles an hour. Yeah, he was with he, his friend in the car. The problem is, like, he always he he got some pretty the bulk of a lot of shit because he was the one who could like handle like some of the worst stuff. Yeah, but that was just because like um Bam was too much of a pushover to do anything, so he would just end up doing it. He would always try to fuck with him, and I feel like guys, Bam never got anything. If you guys got a few million dollars each, what would you would you start just doing drugs and partying? And <laughs> no, be dead no, here? definitely. Man, I've, I've had fucking opportunities to do drugs. I've done just, it. I've, yeah. Drugs suck. I've no. had the opportunity to be a part of that sort of crowd I don't like that whole like lifestyle it's, it's a toxic lifestyle because it's like your friends all do it and the next morning they go out and do the exact same thing and nothing changes it's really yeah like I've seen people just get like pulled into it and their life turns to shit the scariest, no point. the scariest thing is whenever you don't know how you act around other people. Mm -hmm. Like, I had one friend, or they're not really my friend, I just sort of went over to their house and, and like did drugs in their house. Drugs it was like the most mild form of drug, but we did that, 
And they were tweakers. I don't think they knew that, though. Because you're not aware that you're a tweaker when you They're really paranoid and shit. Uh, when someone is, like, tweaks from doing drugs, they, like, their faces twitch and they start, like, doing really creepy... Like, you know, like, tweakers, like, they twitch and they do stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing and they didn't realize it because your body can't tell. That sucks. Yeah. So you can't tell if you're freaking out whenever you do drugs. If I had a million dollars, I'd just fucking save it until something came up. Yeah, if I had a million dollars, I'd just save it, too. Because then I'd give it to the people when they needed it. I would spend it. What would you spend it on? Stuff. Boats. <laughs> boats, lots of boats. I'd buy seven or eight large boats. Would you buy a boat and then spend the remainder five hundred thousand on a huge pea hat to put on your boat? Yes. Cool. It's a good investment. I would paint every boat in like a color scheme based on one of you guys and put your face on the front. <laughs> <laughs> have boat races. Cool. It's a good idea. It's a good way to waste money. Can we push yeah. a button and shoot water out of our mouths yeah. at the other boats? Yeah, like the USS Spaz Kid versus like the. You know the when people name O'Neil? boats? Is that like yeah. an official like thing to do, or do people just call their boat something and say that's the name of it? Or is there like a registration system that you got to go through? I mean, I, well, I mean, I guess it's both. They can call it whatever, but I guess they have to register. They probably have to. I don't know. I don't actually know. Why am I even? Why is I'm the boat of, naming authority. <laughs> on a lot of the boats podcast. have like salt in their name, like salty and like just dirty. Like all these names sound like, like the, sea dogs the salty and clam, stuff. the salty bum bum. Yeah, like yeah, just like these awful names. Yeah, I don't know. They're all they're weird. Boat names are the weirdest. What thing. would you call your boat for real? The uh, yeah, oh, that's a good one. I'd call mine the or L L Y or L L Y fast boat. Call mine Mr. Handsome. <laughs> mine mine would be called I don't know, it'd be something that I would just like slap the keyboard and stick like tape on the thing. <laughs> it'd be like a foogie sp- <laughs> <laughs> And people would be like riding the fucking sp- <laughs> So whenever we go down, they'd be, like, they, they, they would type, they look like somebody slapped the fucking thing. And what, what if you lost the scene? You get on the CB radio and you're like, help, the, 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 the lost. No, okay, there's like, how about this fucking that, 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 That's a downer. They'd be like, it's we like, can't find the f- And you're like, no, it's not the fl- It's, it's the fucking sp- sp- It's like, what? And then you're dead. you're breaking up. You're like, I'm not breaking up. It's that. Okay. I can hear you fucking clearly. It's the biggest boat. It's like a, 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 it keeps breaking up. So the, <laughs> that's the downer. But the good thing is that if you're like trafficking, you're trafficking slaves. No one's gonna be able to get you. They'd be like, look, look, you gotta find this, and then they just can't find it. Genius. You hear that, slave owners? <laughs> slave owner tips and tricks. <laughs> Seems like owning some things just seem like too much of a burden to even if you had the money to own a boat. There's boat repairs. There's what if the boat breaks down in the fucking middle of the ocean? Do you have duct tape? Boat fuel, boat insurance. You have costs are out, out of out of here. I would never bother. Why don't they just stick like a flotation inside the middle of the boat? Like you put like one of those floating boats that are always floating. So you put it inside the boat. So in case it crashes, well, you have a boat that floats. You'd have to it. seal. You'd have to have a permit, uh, a sealed bag <laughs> around the entire inside of the boat. Why don't you just have like a big opening under the boat that you can stick like floating devices underneath? <laughs> well, then the wouldn't really be a boat anymore. It'd be a raft. Have you? Uh, be a boat go, raft. It, would, it would go two miles an hour. <laughs> have you ever seen those pictures of uh, like people have like flats under the ocean, kind of? Oh, yeah. Where like there's people at the bottom of the not the bottom, but they're, they're they're underwater to a point where they have like glass walls all around them. So in their bedroom, they're just looking into the ocean, pretty much. I right. used to have that with my um. <laughs> no, I swear to God, my <laughs> my grandma, that. my uh, I remember when I was staying with my grandma, there was like this thing at the edge of like a lake, mm. and it was like really. It, I just remember it being super fucking awesome when I was little because it was like almost being on a pirate ship, mm. and it was like a <clears> boat at the. It was like because my she dated an artist, and he always bought like these weird art houses, and that was like an art house, and it. It was like this house. It was like half of a boat that was underwater. Right. That was sticking out. So it was like a living boat that was like built basically around the thing with like you'd walk at the edge of like what do you call those things that like on the river bay where you like walk at the edge of them? A jetty? A jedi? A jetty? It's like or... where jetty? boats are like placed against. There's like a name for it. It's like a really simple oh, name. dock. Like, yeah, a dock. a dock. You walk at the end of the dock and that's where the door is. You go inside of it and you'd walk down the stairs. And we'd have those like uh, porthole, yeah, porthole windows that you could like see fish and shit swimming underneath while you're underwater. Mm-hmm. But that's also scary because what happens if it cracks and now you have fucking water pouring into your yeah, house? Yeah, it's like if you're a, like a, a, a multimillionaire, you're like, I'm gonna build a house and it's gonna be partially under the water, and then just my whole bedroom is gonna be a, a glass wall. That's what I'm saying. It just seems like it's scary. You're, you're setting that, yourself up for disaster. Yeah, you just like oh, you're gonna spring a leak, your whole house is gonna be ruined. <laughs> Not just that, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, one, you can spring a leak. Two. 
um, you know, the actual pressure could just kill you one night. All the water could just smash yeah. on top of you. Yeah. Another thing that would concern me is that you're underwater, but and you're like you fucking your girlfriend in your cool like glass room, looking at, at all the fishies. Yes. And then a scuba diver starts knocking on the window and starts all, always you a, off. always a real concern. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so what some, if there's like a submarine or something some going by? Some peeping tom scuba diver swings by. <laughs> what if a guy puts a GoPro on his pet dolphin? He says, "Go over there." I'd be really scared of that. I, like, I wouldn't want. Would you jack off if there was a bunch of like fish looking at you? Yes, I wouldn't, because some fish are intelligent. <laughs> A dolphin would look in and see you jacking off. They're gonna like, reserve this information. <laughs> the, the dolphin will start ramming the glass. With, his head. <laughs> with its fucking corkscrew. Jack me just, off. Just too. once in, once in on the action. <laughs> this huge dolphin boner like going by, just looking at you out of his one eye. Have you ever seen the way a turtle gets a boner? No. Um, their dicks are longer than they are. It's like. Does it come out of their head port? <laughs> no, it comes out of their little dick hole. I don't want to know about animal dicks. <laughs> you sure their head doesn't go I back really inside don't. and a dick comes out? I saw a picture of like a horse dick and an elephant dick, and I'm like, it's terrifying. It's not. It's cool. Chris. It's not cool. You can put is. your Chris. arm inside of an elephant's dick. Chris, uh, are you good, sure? Good to know. <laughs> are you sure that it's not just like you, their head goes they're inside and a dick they're comes weapons. out? They're weapons. They're weapons. <laughs> It could kill a human. If I were to see a big elephant dick next to me, I'd probably just leave because it would smell really bad. Would you motorboat <laughs> an elephant's dick? A pee, an elephant's pee hole? Do elephants, like, I've never seen it. Okay, I've seen an elephant's dick before, but I've never seen an elephant's balls. What I've, they look I've like? never seen an elephant's dick. I never actively went. I mean, I've seen it in porn, but that's just fake. Corey, um, you saw Freddy got fingered. That was an elephant's yeah, dick. Yeah, I thought that was a generous. horse. <laughs> What? You brought you brought it up. <laughs> it was an offhand comment. It was just it was, it was a half hour conversation. Have you seen the video of the hyena shoving his head up the elephant's ass? <laughs> oh yeah, and then the thing like shits on its head or something. He like he like pulls out the inside of the elephant's ass trying to eat it and then it just explodes. Dead ele- a dead elephant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just explodes water all over him and he runs away. Yeah, he, he puts his head up a rotting elephant's ass. <laughs> and it just bu- busts the inside like a balloon. Shit's funny. <laughs> Yeah, he was hungry. It's like the most like unnoble way. I mean, the, I mean, the elephant has a tough hide. He's like, oh, this is the softest way in, I guess. Pretty much. Ugh. They don't give us. They don't know. They're dumb. <laughs> They're dumb wild dog animals. It's terrible topics this week. It's We've tough. talked about everything, man. We have like literally probably sixty hours of talking, plus two hundred plus hours of us being edited out. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Wait, how many fucking topics can you get? Honestly, like you know, it's funny. That's something I could, we could. That's a topic. What about these people who um who are able to just like continuously talk every day? Like oh, they're just like they always have. You something mean have to a talk five about. hour radio show yeah. every day for? Well, 20 all years. they talk about is the, the topics of the day. Oh yeah, they when, talk when about when we try to talk stuff. about shit. Usually, it's us trying to talk about something that can be timeless. I mean, but yeah, we, we can talk about current topics and the stuff we've heard. We avoid politics, sports, daily daily occurrences. Celebrity news. So we knock out like all like the the hot topics, and we go straight you know, for like the what's, toys. What's and... Kim Kardashian up to this week, guys? That's what I want to know. I, Kim Kardashian is such a fucking enigma to me. I never watch anything or see anything she does, and yet she still comes up. I keep hearing she's so weird. She's only famous because of porn. She's only famous because of what's his name, fucking Kanye. Kanye. Do you guys ever feel out of touch? Out of touch with what's popular. I'm glad I'm out of touch. I'm completely out of touch. I always have been. Every time I go to Twitter and I see uh, something trending, I don't know what it is. Mm. I click on it. It's always like some rap album or something. Yeah, something something fucking stupid. Or I'm like going on through my emails and they're like, hey, you should follow fucking uh, Kim Kardashian and and fucking Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to follow them on Twitter. That kind of shit like trains you to know what kind of shit it is in future. So if if you go on Twitter and you see this topic that everyone's talking about, like I would say 99% of the time now I can like say with with 100% certainty that no one's going to be talking about it ever again in a week's time yeah these things yeah. these things that happen where people like like if a huge thing happens it's the talk of the town for like two days and then nobody cares after the third day That's, uh... people's attention spans aren't that long anymore things don't last because things just like grow out of like importance the more crazy shit that happens the less you care about the next crazy thing that happens exactly it's just like whoa cool and when something happens out of like a blue moon you're just like oh. everyone like I, I didn't think anyone would ever top that whole bash reverse thing but everyone just forgot about it after a week yeah no one cares people same with just, that like weird Guy. Back to being epic. Yeah, no cares. one cares about it no anymore. One cares. It's like sweet, dude. More let's plays, sweet. Yeah, cool. he's back to making videos, and like it's just like there will always be like the subset of people who still remember. But for the most part, he was on the, the he was like ten seconds from putting a bullet in his head or something, <laughs> right? And now he's just back to yeah, he's just back to back playing to being back to playing Minecraft like the good old days. <laughs> Joining Yogg's cast as they sing songs about digging holes. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm lost again. I don't want. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. These are all just like quick inside jokes. That you are know what? Like Nile always gives me shit. For. Slight stabs. I'm yeah. completely out of touch with music. Like you guys yeah. hear music because of Tom, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure if Tom wasn't around, you guys would also be oblivious. Oh, well, what I not hear? Let me tell you about it. Whack, 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 yeah. whack, whack. But I wouldn't be able to Rihanna oh on the radio. God. Oh no. <laughs> See, that, that's just all shit that's, like, it's out of date after a year, and then no one ever, like, sings it or talks I, about gonna it I'm gonna miss out on Rihanna and other, like, failure artists that make the, awful music. The, the, the R&B music scene is the most bizarre thing. It's it's dribble. It's, it's like it, these people with autotune songs, like, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like so-and-so, it's on the radio, it's like, so-and-so featuring so-and-so. It's like, yeah, that better bet, that better bet. There's like, doot, 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 <laughs> it's just like the moment was like that like beat that's like oh god I can't I can't it's so processed it's just it's, like have you ever uh, listened like I know it's gonna sound really gay yeah but did you ever like listen to uh, Japanese like pop music no well yes. I, like I don't listen to it but I've heard it and I've it's like it. it's really really like you, you, you'll Quick. never you'll never hear anything like it so every time their pop music comes out all this like music is really different Compared it's, to the American, like, calculated, insane. like, four-chord song that's constantly put out. It's insane. You hear these J-pop songs, and, like, every one of them are hit. They're, like, individual songs that are hits. And then you like, hear... they're all so unique, and you've never heard anything like each one before. It's weird. Yeah, and then you hear an American song, it's like, I'm so awesome. It's always... Every American I'm song awesome. is... awesome. <laughs> it's, like, the worst shit ever. It's, like, I'm, ter- I'm tired of it. It's, like... It, it's funny, too, because, like, I would like to think of myself as someone who enjoys rap. And I do enjoy hip hop, but I enjoy old rap and old hip hop. All this garbage. It now, was catchy. It's like it was catchy back in the day. Yeah. Now, now it's just this. Now it's just like noise. It's so. It's not only really noise. It's like nails on chalk. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I it's like can't, you can chalk it up to the same thing. If you want an example I, of music nowadays, just listen to Rihanna's work song. That's your fucking. I feel like even saying this, you know, I'm like, am I just, am I completely out of touch with this? I don't care. But it's just, it's just so, it makes me angry listening to it. It's not even like an earworm. It's like an unfair earworm. It's like, (laughs) it's like, it's like if you repeat a word in somebody's ear long enough, they're going to fucking remember. If you you like wired my eyelids open and like the uh, clockwork orange just just put on the local (laughs) R&B radio station, I I would crack. I would crack in a few minutes. You would start singing along. I would say anything. Because there would be two songs playing, like that's it, just those two songs. Like now back to Rihanna work. <laughs> yeah, it's like Rihanna, the Rihanna, then like the, then the, the 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 DJ's like, "What's up, y'all? Coming back here like ninety eight point six, the the Black and Jazz Channel, whatever. You know, I don't know. The, the, you know, the, come on, the new the new hit song Rihanna with work again, work with work, work and work. That's the, 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 the hit song, funny. work and work, Feat, featuring whatever me and I'll DJ to, Jazzy Jeff, whatever. Whatever me and I'll go to Subway, it's always. Like the same three songs on repeat oh, over and I'm over tired and over. Of it. Yeah, I'm so tired of these fucking songs. Holy shit! I just want to like reset. Just like just turn the button off, start over again. On society, just reset, reset society. Music. Just reset with a music. Bomb. Let's go back to the fucking sticks and stones and people going like. We're gonna be we're gonna hitting a rock with a stick. Like, <laughs> 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 There, that's that's the song. You just have like the chirps like, of the wild, like give me like thirty thousand BC. <laughs> okay. you, like, that's a good stories. idea for a topic, right? Yeah. So if you were to go back in time, right, and bring back uh, a TV and a radio, right? Yeah. And if you were to show like let's say either like medieval times or a caveman mm-hmm. one piece of media just to see how much it would fuck up the future completely, mm-hmm. what would what would would it be? So, like, let's say if you brought back fucking Poker Face and just showed it to a bunch of cavemen, they're going, <laughs> P-P-Poker Face! And then in the future, like, society's, like, based on that song because yeah. everyone was singing it. And everyone, cave, everybody's wearing bizarre fashion. Of, uh, what's your face on Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady everyone Gaga. has this, like, bizarre, like, zebra oh, yeah, fashion like, everywhere. They don't even have to see, like, Lady Gaga. So, like, if you brought back a radio with Poker Face and you went from town to town in medieval times showing, like, a, a vast majority yeah. of society and you came to the future, like, everything would be completely different. I go to medieval I time would. and give them a vibrator <laughs> and see what they do. See if they think it's a weapon. I'm like, this is a weapon the from their future gods. A million, <laughs> it's a million it's like this like buzzing thing that they like I, I, go to I, war I, with. I, it. I'd bring back Mr. Rogers and Bot. No, I'd bring back Mr. Rogers. And then all these cave paintings with like a stick figure with a blue sweater on. 
<laughs> they'd have like different shoes and like like one with different shoes on. <laughs> then Bob Ross would just be this stick figure with this big circle on his head. Like, <laughs> nobody knows what it means. They think it's like some like he like think he's like the king. Yeah, I'd be headdress. So we're talking about stuff bringing him back to medieval times. So this is like Kitty King Arthur's court. Okay, so let's just say right, Corey. So you... instead of giving him a stinky baseball bat and <laughs> baseball, I can give him something cool. Just imagine it, right, Corey? You have the power to teleport a huge stadium back thousands of years, right? So mm-hmm. that it's pretty much like a huge Woods Woodstock, right? Yeah. You've got your big stadium, huge ass speakers, right? And then people are like, what, what's, what is this? And they all start gathering around, there's like millions of people all around you, right? Yeah. You've got your one chance, a big projector, or you can play music, just one song or one piece of media. Well, I wouldn't play music. What would you do? Because I would have a bad future, you know, because I'd be playing like some video game music. <laughs> I'd give them a sharper image catalog. <laughs> Blow their minds. You can project anything up on the screen and they'll all like see it. Like a holographic it. clock and Not like only the thing that ticks back and forth indefinitely. Can I project gay brothers on the <laughs> yes, screen? <laughs> and then they'll all run up on stage and kill you. Because they all hate gay people back then. <laughs> show, show I'll put gay brothers up there and be like, <laughs> when we, like what, what are you doing? Show them a video. just sitting here with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, they don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just like this guy, hello, I am from the future. Corey, you gotta think of it from their perspective too. So they're all looking up on on the big screen. They're like, what is this huge portal I'm looking at? Like, they don't realize it's a screen. They think there's two giant gay brothers sitting there. <laughs> they're giants? Think they're actually giants? Yeah. It's the land of the giants. <laughs> So in the future, gay brothers. in the future, there'll, they there'll be do. fucking like tablets of like huge ass gay giants fucking each other. <laughs> I think they're like terrifying monsters. Is what happens when you you get you get captured. They fuck you to death or something. <laughs> so they have like these like things like they like made a like they like were able to create these like mountains of like a gay brother sitting on his bed holding his dick. Yeah, Mount Rushmore is just the two gay brothers fucking each other. By the way, if anyone doesn't know, Gay Brothers is a s- stupid <laughs> story. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna unearth this thing like from Lord of the Rings, like this gigantic stone sculpture of like these two <laughs> fucking gay dudes. <laughs> It's gonna be like twenty five feet tall. They're like, what is? What is this? <laughs> but it's like you can if you it's look next to Stonehenge. Society's based off of that thing now. Yeah, I mean, it's like the, it's like the new Jesus Christ. And then I, I I'm like this. And I'm like, I bid you adieu. And then lightning goes off and I disappear. I leave the projector with gay brothers fucking. Yeah. What do they do next? <laughs> they steal the technology and they create more gay brothers. <laughs> they, fucking, <laughs> they all start fucking and then our future's ruined before it even begins. <laughs> Kill all the women. Yeah, you fuck. go into the future and there's just nothing there except for like gay skeletons <laughs> lying everywhere. <laughs> With dry jizz on their skeleton hands. Oh, God. <laughs> They're all stuck together. <laughs> okay, now Corey, here's the next thing. Can I bring? Okay, can I bring? Aliens come down to study the, well, the remains of the Earth. What all these skeletons stuck together, right? <laughs> They're like, what? What is this huge organism stuck together? So they try to recreate it. What would this organism, based on these skeletons stuck together, look like? What? <laughs> it would be a big fucking mound of humans stuck together. Yeah, they would like bring it together and their faces like kind of like looking to the side <laughs> while the other one's looking forward. Like some weird like fucking... And then you can send that back in time. <laughs> Just drop this like meaty thing. It's like... Oh! <laughs> like the stage with the game brothers fucking. It'd be like, if you do this, this will be you! <laughs> Man, so the, f- the future is gonna like send the time police after you two. You're like the most wanted criminals in the in the in the timeline or whatever. Corey I just and go Chris. there and fuck with them. Like, I, bring, I go there with like one of those like red laser lights and start fucking pointing at them. They'd be like, ah! they'd be, like fucking running away while I fucking chase them with it. You two would destroy the entire planet with your t- your time decision. <laughs> It's the aliens' fault. They created it. We just sent it back in time. Okay, that's my choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay What's brothers. your choice, Jeff? What's oh yours? my god, what would I do? What would you do, Jeff? You can, I had, I just had you can it. play one music, or you can project something on the screen. Go project the movie Commando. <laughs> Really? Yeah. That's so. Stupid. Then you would create a Commando future. I hope so. Because people. No, wait. Like, pre- what, if, what if you projected a video of LARPing and said, "This is the future." <laughs> <laughs> this is all they know. It's like it looks exactly like it is now, but everybody just looks stupider with foam bats. So they continue to like yeah. when like the horse. Is there, Maybe like, they're like, "Oh my god, we have to do something else. We have to retire our swords and and make some new weapons." <laughs> I don't know what would be really fucked up. What would be really fucked up to show somebody in the past that just would. You know what would destroy future civilization? What <laughs> anime club. <laughs> yeah, show them <laughs> anime club. <laughs> is that an actual thing, or is that like? There's like these girls dancing a to a fucking video. anime song oh. behind bad green. It's just these two girls in high school trying to get people to join anime club, <laughs> <laughs> like they're dancing in front of a shitty green screen. Which you can show them that or foam adventures. <laughs> foam adventures. <laughs> <laughs> foam adventures. 
He just shows that that video, that that, That's a video got like 1% thumbs up or something. It's got like, I guess yeah, like right. just a ridiculous amount. Oh, we got foe! Everyone in the future would just be fucking obnoxious for me, <laughs> screaming that over and over. They would, everybody would have to have foam or they would be fucking like, crucified. Axes would be made out of foam. Oh Jeff, you still gotta answer. Jeff, I'm gotta thinking! Answer. Either Foam Adventures or Anime Club. Now you have to choose. <laughs> Anime club, <laughs> the fucking door slamming. <laughs> what are you? It's like nothing I could say to compare could compare to the cringe, the cringe zone here. <laughs> Jeff, you should you should choose the Basher video. He's like, I never said I was the victim. <laughs> Dude, they would think he was a god because he's in this, this green room, this like bright green room with this like. <laughs> Basher's oh. the new Jesus. <laughs> So you have a picture of Basher on these like really what detailed like, teeth clenched and looking up in the air. <laughs> he's always it's like anything out of the ordinary. They're like he's a god. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Basher! You walk into a room and the statue of Basher's just screaming at his fucking <laughs> at you when you walk in this green room. They don't have any green, so they just put tape grass everywhere with mud and shit. I would, I would show him the goldfish video. That's what I'm showing. Oh really? Which goldfish video? It was, it was something we talked about in like episode one or something. It was uh, this like porn porn video, but it was this woman. Oh, that one. Just pinching goldfish to death and putting them in a blender and food processor and That's dumping horrible. them in her latex suit. <laughs> I think it would just make their brains melt. <laughs> they would just like was... King Ar King Arthur and his entire table of uh, knights would just they just drop dead. <laughs> they, they, it would probably become like the new thing. You should show them Transformers Three: Revenge. Uh, Transformers Two: Revenge of the Fallen. See what happens. <laughs> You fucking hold clothes, pug their ears up. I, I, the first time I saw Transformers, the movie, I was like yeah. blown away by the animation. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the most amazing thing I had seen in a long time. What if you went back in time and gave a caveman a can opener and then disappeared? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just, did you do, literally disappear, just run away? <laughs> just disappeared. After, you give it to him and you fade away. But there's no <laughs> cans, dust. Corey. <laughs> so they would like start like fucking killing people with it. Give him a PSP with one hour battery. <laughs> Give him a PSP. <laughs> Give him a dying PSP. <laughs> <laughs> like he loves it for an hour and it dies. It dies. <laughs> no! And he fucking smashes oh! it. <laughs> fucking fucks it against a rock and then cries no, and kills no, himself. No more batteries for 10,000 years. Sorry. <laughs> so you would just use your fucking like time traveling powers to fuck with one caveman? <laughs> Did you ever see that movie, by the way, 10,000 BC? No. Oh my god. They, they pitched it as almost like this, I'm not historical, but as sort of a, the trailers were like semi-realistic of like, oh, this is an adventure taking place in 10,000 BC, but right. then you watch it and it turns into this like Lord of the Rings fantasy movie halfway through. <laughs> that stinks. Yeah. I remember oh, well. seeing that movie's trailer and I said, that looks bad. It and it's bad. from that guy who makes all those other shitty movies. Yeah. He needs world destruction in every movie he makes. That's the uh, Independence guy, right? Independence Roland guy. Emmerich? Yeah. Yeah. He's not very good. H.J. No. Rowling? H.J. Rowling. That's <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Who is that? Writer of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> really? You dig back. <laughs> If you could change, like, literally anything in history, like, any tiny detail, what would you do? And make the moon purple. <laughs> that no, would change uh, money. Change the his, change. You could literally change anything. You could be like, I want Hitler's last name to be Brown Boy. Spitler. <laughs> Spittler. People spit on him till he kills himself. Straight off Spittler. <laughs> he, just, he just fails and everything because everybody hates his last name. Like, you, can, you can change literally. You can make Hitler's nose twice as big. I'd give him a normal mustache and then see if the Hitler mustache actually takes off anywhere in the world <laughs> after that. But then everyone won't have normal mustaches The hipsters anymore. would fucking bring back the Hitler mustache. They would like realize that shaving off half your mustache makes you look... I'd be curious. It's too bad you can't play this game where you just make things... You change things just to see what happens. Yeah. That's a good idea for a game in general. Just like going back in time, giving somebody like a Game Boy, and then going in the future and like, seeing what like happens. What if the first like two shuttles in a row blew up trying to go into space? Do you think they just give up, yeah. or they'd make something complete? I bet they'd like make a new. They make a new law saying you can't do this anymore. It's too dangerous. Space, yeah, like how many how many disasters in a row would you need to like for them to just outlaw space? I'd say five. The funny part <laughs> is, you could just do something where you could have dry ice in a petri dish and put it on the ground, and people would go up to it and touch it and fucking. <laughs> what? <laughs> dry ice. 
they're trying to touch it because they don't know what it is. They're fucking like, they look like they get cursed so people would be terrified of it and just be sitting there. What if you brought back uh, in time that like that play sand that like that doesn't stick together when you take it out of water? You yeah. just blow their fucking mind. Yeah, exactly. Give them easy bake ovens. <laughs> Give them those like little animal things that you make in like water by putting it in water and it turns into an animal. <laughs> yeah. like, oh! Oh! oh man, I haven't seen one of those in You could fucking forever. entertain, you could go back in time with a yo-yo that lights up and be like, Bruh! That disappear, they'd be like, <laughs> just you would be that on a, you would be on a cross burning that, that night. I'd say you'd be killed within two seconds. They'd just be completely horrified. No, they'd be, they'd love it. It would be like the, the first time they ever saw two different kinds of colors at once. Imagine if you went back there to the toy lightsaber, you'd be rolling over a country by like That's next true. week. You go there and it's like, whoosh, like two forty three quality noises while you're fucking hitting stuff with your glow stick. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm the new king. And then you fucking like, <laughs> like put it out. They'd be like, <laughs> they'd all bow. How fast do you think society would fall if uh, all the ocean in the world got turned into like Fanta Orange? <laughs> pretty, pretty fast. <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> you think the world could be saved if that happened? you just like, God, can you do me a favor with Earth? Can you turn it into a soda? <laughs> If the whole world soda. actually, if all the water turned to coke, like you'd be fairly fucked, wouldn't you? Oh boy! Yeah, oh I don't my know. god, dude! Like, how long could you live for? How long Not would, long at all. Society would like well, crumble. The fresh water might still be. I mean, if it's only, the, are you talking about all the water or just the so just okay, the salt all, water? all the ocean? That still like makes. It I mean, there's still. I mean, this you'd probably still be able to live off fresh water for you know a long time, but all seafood would be dead. <laughs> all the fish, like all the fish would be dead, so that would be like. Yeah. Really, no, nothing left alive. So, like the seafood at like Japan and stuff, they would be completely fucked. Wait, so no, what? It would be worse than that, right? So all the plankton would be dead. So all the fish would be dead. But don't mm -hmm. plankton eat shit? Well, the the entire ocean ecosystem would be destroyed. <laughs> there would be that, just like floating. any birds that <laughs> ate fish would die off. Any people who want a coastal city would probably starve. I, I would say the world would last two weeks. All like like these like weird like fish that nobody's seen before with human faces would float <laughs> up to the top of the water, and everyone would see all these like scary like. Yeah. They see like fucking krakens floating above the water. That's a good question. Water. Do we do we need the oceans? Like if the oceans just turned to acid, do we need them? Completely. To... Yeah. I, yeah. Completely. They make up a good percentage of the water. Not only can... would uh, fish all die, all these like boats would fucking corrode and sink. No, I'm saying if if the oceans were no longer usable, could you just survive off you know land animals and fresh water? I think you could. For if you, if you were able you to could, fresh water. but would there not be like there probably know, be some disease everyone would be too. freaking out and like running inland like killing each other trying to like also the fish survive. would all rot because they would fucking be there would just be this like this smell well there'd probably be a terrible it. smell for a while yeah that would never I mean be. it would smell good and then really bad outside you'd smell good inside <laughs> if you were in outside. Iowa would you, like you wouldn't smell it though really it'd just all be congregating around Iowa the second you leave out of it it's just this horrible smell <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare well what would what do you think would happen if uh if the sky turned brown for the rest of our ages so what you're telling me is God when he was creating water he put a dab of cherry cola inside of it <laughs> he went into the future and he tasted it he's like that's pretty good I'll let my humans I'll, I'll do them a solid here he's like mm, yeah, this is good we put it all over earth and he's an asshole he does like how he does chicken wings he puts too much fucking sauce on it and ruins it what if the ocean turned to chicken wings <laughs> it never went bad that would I mean people would have food forever cause like there's a big the ocean's big it's a big thing it's a lot of chicken wings people would just get so tired of chicken chicken wings yeah but if there's no wings. ocean what happens with your poopy it all piles up yeah, what, if, what if the water what are you turns talking into poop? about your poopy? If, if if you're living in Iowa and yeah. you're surrounded by fields, yeah. take one one shit, right? Yeah. Um, there will be one shit in your field now, but then the next day there will be two. It breaks down. <laughs> yeah, if, but it's like the water fertilizer. Turns... Mix it in with the dirt, and it'll. I know, but eventually you'll just have a really disgusting like land around what if the water you, especially if you've got into, lots of neighbors. What, what if the water turned into like black tar fecal matter? What do you think happens? <laughs> to, what do you think happens to cow shit, Chris? It I know just, that it, shit degrades and it makes yeah. land good and stuff. Yeah. But I'm just saying it'll, it's gonna get stinky. It wouldn't. What if you lived in New York? You wouldn't be able... You would need a lot of people shitting in a very small place for it to Look, if you live in New overwhelm. York and everyone starts shitting on the streets, it's going to pile up. Well, like, yeah. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, if there's no ground or water source. Especially if they got or, infinite chicken wings, their shits will be huge. If you're just, sitting, if you're just shitting in the streets, yeah, it's going <laughs> to get out of control. There's no toilet that leads to the... There's no water that goes to the ocean anymore. It's all, your toilet's clogged with chicken wings now. I was assuming you are just shitting in a field or something, and it was raining, and it was just okay, taking care of okay, itself. Okay, Iowa was a bad, uh, you know, <laughs> example. But, okay, so you're in New York, your toilet... Your bathtub is full of chicken wings. The water, yeah. Water's not flowing no more. Yeah. You gotta catch rainwater with buckets now. Well, yeah, seven million people living in a quarter mile. <laughs> it's gonna get stinky. It's gonna go bad very fast. Yeah. The water turns into jello. That doesn't go bad. <laughs>
<laughs> your water. Refrigerated Jello. It's always refrigerated. What if there was no water, but you could you could actually sustain your the you could you'd have to eat Jello to to keep liquid in your body. Oh my god, that sounds like to sustain yourself. It's horrible. These are disgusting situations. <laughs> they don't water. Just Jello. Just Jello. It's just so like you see this ocean. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool. You go to like a fancy steak restaurant, and you the only way to to like get a beverage is to eat a cup of Jello <laughs> with your steak. Yeah, but it gets required because you have to get rid of the Jello. Because you're parched, you're like, man, I'm thirsty. I need to just eat Jello. God for got five bored minutes. one day and turned the water into Jello, so he's like, now you have to pay for my sins. <laughs> so you have to eat all the Jello until it's gone, yes. and then I'll give you water. This is the worst topic ever. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It doesn't even make any sense. You know that there's a, a law against advertising in the sky? Did you know that? Yeah. You have to pay for it. No, you don't. No, no, it's never going to be what allowed. What about plane? What about those the messenger planes? No, no, that's a plane. But I, I mean, like, people were thinking about, like, putting ads on the moon and shit. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. There's going to be a big Pepsi logo on the, the moon. moon. The moon, people try to buy the moon and put advertisements on it, but it's, like, fair use. <laughs> Really? I mean, it's not. It's not fair use. I just heard that there's yeah, there's a law against. What's it. the law again? Like you know, nobody can own a plot of land on the moon. Moment. Well, in that case, then they can't land think. their fucking rover on the moon. I don't know, or maybe the it's co-owned by all the space agents. I have no idea. I have no idea how it works. Does it cost money to own a part of the moon? I don't think they're actually selling. I think it's funny. A few years ago, I think one guy was fraudulently selling pieces of land on the moon, <laughs> and people people were sending him money, and he was sending him like certificates. You're like, okay. You own the something something Planitia over here next to this crater, and people <laughs> believed it. Like, oh, cool! My my great 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 grandkids are gonna live there. <laughs> I wish you could just like visit the moon for a day. I would love to do people that. Speaking like... of stupidity, did you see that Kickstarter the the, the underwater breather thing? What is that? No. Oh my god, people! Some people. What? There's a kit. There are, it wasn't a Kickstarter. It was a uh, like GoFundMe or something. Oh, Basically, that's worse. said we've invented an underwater breather that converts. All the oxygen, you know, you're breathing like a fish, essentially. It's converting the oxygen in the water into a breathable source of air for you to... You can just stay underwater indefinitely. That's impossible. Yeah, every, every, every scientist, everybody, you know, every expert in the field is like, this is complete bullshit. You need, like, a thousand times the power that this thing's putting out to convert enough... You need air. It, it needs to convert more. It needs to have water flowing through it faster than, like, a... Fire hose. You can't, you can't just put on a snorkel that turns into your mouth. <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> you know, or there's somebody's like, yeah, you can have you can like maybe you have a nuclear reactor attached to your face and might be able to push enough <laughs> energy through. There it. should really be like a, a like a scam button on Kickstarter. That's a, but no, it's, it's fucked Indiegogo. up. The, that's the problem with Indiegogo because it's like these people. Like it's funny too because you get these people who say stuff like, "Help me through college." I'm a you know like it says all this stuff like it's like oh I'm a, a trans autistic clubbed foot. Um, <laughs> Half blind, and they get seven dollars. Yeah, and, and no, and they get like seven thousand dollars of what they're asking for because they they put out they say a bunch of stuff that the disorders they have, and they're like, "Give me money," and people give them money. Yeah, but here's the fucked up thing about that story: they almost got a million dollars, and then enough people called them out, and they're like, "Okay, we're gonna refund your money. We're gonna relaunch the Kickstarter," and then they're like, "By the way, uh, yeah, that wasn't that was all bullshit. Uh, we actually just have air canisters in this device, and people just started giving them money again. They're like, well, "You're just you just blatantly lied." You completely lied the first time, and now you're probably lying again. Even even though it sounds more plausible, it's still complete lies. Indie and people are like, yeah, I d oh, yeah, here, here's your money. Indiegogo sucks in comparison to Kickstarter because it's like Indiegogo is like you still get the money even if you don't make it. Yeah. So these people go on there like kids. They go on there and they're like – um. They're like, give me stuff so I can buy a new computer. It's, it's, they're just like, give me money. <laughs> it's like they put their, they're like, I want to be able to play games. I just don't know. I just want to be able to play games. And they have their Indiegogo up there. It works for some people. But it's like, I don't understand how these people think that they can just be like, I'm going to make an Indiegogo and people are going to give me money. It's like, you kind of need a catch. You need to be disorderly. Or you need to use buzzwords because no one's gonna give you any fucking money if you don't use any of those. Pretty much. Sorry, that's how it is. Do you have you guys seen the old Superman cartoon from the 30s or 40s? I forget no. which. The, the one that was well animated. It's really, really yeah. well animated. It's crazy well There's animated. There's a cool little feature on YouTube I saw talking about it. Yeah, that's why I'm talking about it myself. The Snoop Dogg feature. No. Superman. <laughs> Snoopavision is fucking a <laughs> shitty joke. That's and not he said, funny. Superman. It's still on YouTube. It's not funny. Why is it still on YouTube? What was like, that even? Not funny. What, what did that? What That's even their funny halal April Fool's no, joke. I know that, but what happened? I never actually clicked it. What happened? It's just him watching videos, and you can watch, watch it in 360 view. You can watch him watching a video in 360 view. But it's the video you clicked on. No, it's, it, a, it's only a few. Pretty much, right? YouTube picks their best videos on YouTube, like Charlie bit my finger, uh, and then you click Snoop Vision. Then you watch Snoop Dogg inside of a cinema with a 360 view of. So he he they, just watches they it. They paid him a million dollars to watch like ten. Videos. 
videos. Yeah, and he, he's not giving a commentary or nothing. He's just like, heh, man, that's whack. It's like, yeah. This whole year's <laughs> April Fool's jokes sucked. Even, yeah. even Google sucked. Google fucked up. They got so much Google, shit. Google, uh, they, they like got people fired from their jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like. Well, the I, other one, too, like the Google, the, the VR mask thing, it's just this. Such a tired idea. Mm. It's a VR mask, but it isn't. It's just you're looking through like a cardboard box or something. You don't think it's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Go for times. I know, I know. I'm out of touch. Um, but yeah, that old Superman cartoon is really cool. The only, do you know why no one talks about it or likes it? It's because all those old cartoons have really creepy sound. I think that's the reason. I, I think it is. Like, whenever I watch those old cartoons from the 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. they're unwatchable, not because of the visuals, which are amazing. It's just because you're listening to those. It's like they're talking through a tin can all the time, and the music sends like creepy fucking old men playing just trombones together it's you like think, do, 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 you think there's a superhero called super pooper scooper man super pooper scooper no. man cory i <laughs> i'm gonna make him <laughs> Go, okay you do all that. right you do that <laughs> i like the idea i like the reason how that pretty much the animators invented sup the superman's flying superpower just, yeah. just, just to save on time because he used to be able to jump over buildings that was his super and power. The animators are like yeah fuck this because <laughs> they have to animate him jumping all the time whatever, whatever they say 1930 that equated to fuck this well superman was like you know at first he was like faster than a speeding bullet and now he's like fast as like faster More powerful than, than a locomotive it's like way quicker than that superman. Superman. Jump a building in a single he can jump over something. buildings in a single bound yeah that was it but yeah fuck that like nobody Superman. wants to jump around. That's what I'm saying. Superman is just a superhero where people are like, they're like two kids fighting. It's like I shot you. Like, no, I had an impenetrable shield. It's you can't a, shoot me. It's a bird. It's a plane. Yeah. But no, it's Superman. That's why it's so. It's like it's impossible to watch because of how they're talking in that weird. What do you call it? Transatlantic like accent. Everybody in nineteen the nineteen forties and fifties talked like this. They didn't though. Yeah, but lucky the, cigarettes. The villains look like something out of. It's like Tracy. a breath of fresh the air. Villains, the villains look like. Something I, just, I wish they'd Tracy. like. I wish they'd re-release it with, with like newer sounds so people be like cool because. When you watch it, just why, don't you, why don't you do a new voiceover? We'll do a new voiceover for It's super, not just the voice, it's mostly the music. The music's so like <laughs> shit. It's, yeah, it's just that shitty old Disney sound where it's like. <laughs> it really, it's crazy. I think, what, do you, what did that cartoon say? Like every episode was a half a million dollar budget? Yeah. Was that accounting for inflation or not? I have no idea. Man, that's like $30 million back then or something. <laughs> that's a lot of money. But then again, that's when, that's when there were only like three television stations and almost half the country was watching one at every time, every, every point in time. There was like every, every TV show back then had way higher viewership than it does now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they didn't really have much options. No. They just had news. Everybody fucking watched they had news like or NBC, to CBS. They had never seen anything like Superman back then. It was like crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And the cool thing is that you know the way Superman's like too overpowered and kind of boring? Yeah. yeah. Those cartoons show him like struggling all the time, so it's like fun to watch. That's what's upsetting. It's like he had like so much characteristic back then. Now he just became an empty shell of what he used to be. Now he's just this boring asshole. I've never really liked him. Just so I don't I don't either. I don't like him because he's a character where he just stuff makes people just make shit up about him all the time. He's just a made up guy who just like Obviously, he's made up, but he's like, they just make up powers for him so he can't die. I, I like really he hated, can't die. I hated Superman until I saw that game Injustice, and they make him the bad guy, and then you're like, cool. Yeah, it's, well, like, it's, he, it's like the only way he's like the other, cool to me. The other thing, too, way. is, uh, think about it like this. Like, what characters today, like in superhero characters, are, they're just surviving solely on nostalgia and not because they're good ideas? Like, imagine if somebody wrote Superman today, mm -hmm. and they're like, he's just this perfect guy, and green glowing space rocks are his mm -hmm. only weakness. Like, who would be thrown out of a meeting <laughs> trying to pitch this idea. Like, yeah. It's kryptonite. They'd be, they be thrown out. Of, they'd be thrown out anyway. It's just like, really? Is he straight white male too? That's why, like, <laughs> Captain America is cis, like he's a, a better alien. version. Yeah. Of <laughs> Captain of America him. is like the better version of Superman because he has yeah. like he has his weaknesses and like he can die and shit. Captain America is cool and practical. Yeah, he's just like a super strong dude. I always hated the idea of kryptonite. It's just dumb. You throw a rock at him and he's like, oh power. Oh, and it's like, and then they were coming up with. Superman. Red kryptonite and yellow kryptonite and all, you know, yeah, red kryptonite. makes him angry. Yeah, he, and blue makes him sad. <laughs> <laughs> yellow makes blue, him hungry. Is there, is there blue kryptonite? He's, yellow he's kryptonite really is just bananas. He eats like the world's food supply. <laughs> <laughs> yellow kryptonite. He, he's like he's just like pissing all the time <laughs> on the, on so the power yellow like kryptonite. Poop tonight is brown. <laughs> Lex Luthor just has all these like colorful rocks. He just keeps fucking tossing them at Superman. And stuff keeps happening. <laughs> Corey, what would uh, Pink Kryptonite do? It'd make him horny, and he just he he's immediately he just immediately grab Lex Luthor and fuck him in the face. <laughs> Lex Luthor's like, I've mis misinterpreted this situation. <laughs> he'd fucking knock over his stupid rocks and then fly away. <laughs>
<laughs> What's green kryptonite do? Green weakens him. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> God, Chris, don't you know Superman? I thought it would make him jealous. Oh, jealous and envy. Uh, oh. White kryptonite would uh, blind him so he can't fucking see when he gets white kryptonite. Yellow would turn him into an emoticon and he'd just start XDing and everything. <laughs> Place to just he turns into him a into a meme slate. lord, super <laughs> meme lord. He just watches internet videos all day. That's if you throw the, the Matrix rocks at him, like the fucking Matrix colored rock at him. He turns into a troll. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into a, a super troll, troll. He's just typing at super speed, trolling the entire world at once. <laughs> it's like, dude, we have to stop him. <laughs> The kids are killing themselves left to right. He's become a menace. All these kids are killing themselves thousands a minute because he's trolling. Super it's trolling. Like, it's like the opening of the happening of kids just falling out of giant buildings. In like unison. <laughs> You're just calling them, causing all these kids to kill themselves all over the world. What a polka dot kryptonite dude. That's dangerous. Polka dot. Polka dot. It's poison. It fucking kills Superman. He's an idiot. That's green. No, that weakens him. What about Waldo colored striped kryptonite? Waldo colored. Wow, now we're getting hard. Uh, Waldo. He sits down and reads a nice book of Where's Waldo. <laughs> it's the worst one of them all because he loses his perception of what's happening around him. <laughs> and he's like, there's the dog! <laughs> he starts looking for Waldo in real life. He just can't find him. <laughs> so he gets frustrated. He about... leaves Earth and never comes back. What about red, white, and blue kryptonite? Oh, he just turns into uh, Captain America. He just like throw it out and he's like... <laughs> now you're kind of weaker. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know. I, you know... I, I think this is a good idea. Comic designers, I, hit me up. The Luth different colored. Luther Luther creates kryptonite rocks, and they all do different stuff. Different <laughs> fun, unique flavors. And he gives them to a bunch of different people, so people are throwing fucking rocks at Superman, and he's doing all this shit. Can you imagine being the most powerful man in the world, and people just throwing colored rocks at you, and all, like, completely altering your brain perception of everything? You just, like, turn angry, you turn happy, you turn sad. With these colored rocks. I mean, how, how fucking emasculated must you feel? These colored rocks are destroying your brain. The greatest anime is the fucking People really don't like Superman. Like, Superman's trying to say something, so some asshole throws a blue rock at him, and he fucking drops the building. And he just starts crying uncontrollably. He's like, ha, ha. <laughs> I think that's what people would do, is just fucking throw rocks at him. They think it's funny. Yeah, but he has their, like, Superman rocks just in case. Oh, man, what about Orange? <laughs> orange, he gets fucking lit on fire, and he's weak at the same time, so he feels it. <laughs> On fire! <laughs> He's like, just please stay away from the orange ones. Okay, beige. What about macaroni orange? Macaroni? <laughs> Turns into a cheese monster. <laughs> you, throw, you throw a macaroni one at him. He starts puking up mac and cheese. He can't stop. <laughs> Turns into a cheese monster. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you're just vomiting cheese and just crying. Dude, I'd leave this planet immediately if this yeah, happened. I would do it. I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck happened where you were able to alter like the reality of life. Dude, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I can fucking survive in space. This is bullshit. What about see through? See through? Mm -hmm. It turns him into glass and clear, he, like fucking shatters in place. Okay, one last one. Well, chrome. Okay, so chrome. Mm -hmm. It turns him into a fucking Chromebook and he fucking smashes <laughs> and it falls down. Chromebook. You're an idiot. <laughs> Turns him into a shitty computer that can't play games. And then, like, fucking Turns Lex Luthor goes up to him and grabs him and starts putting viruses on him, and he's like, No! <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> It turns into like gangbanger Superman. He's riding around in a load rider, <laughs> like chrome teeth, scaring out, scaring all the white, scaring all the white people. Blasting music, blasting away their fucking houses and like killing. See, that would be a, like a cool, unique new Superman. You hear, you reboot. hear that? You hear that DC yeah. universe? It's like, the most like gangster guy gets turned into a Superman. Yeah, that would be a cool movie. He just turns black, chrome, chrome. If <laughs> makes him black. <laughs> No, I mean like a really like gangster kind of one. That was that was a good topic. <laughs> that was nonsense. But it's true. Like it's such a dumb like it's like all these other superpowers, all these super people have weaknesses, and his weakness is just green rocks from an alien planet that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but Lex Luthor found it all scrunched up. <laughs> yeah, and he found the rocks that rained from the rain from Superman's planet. He said caught him and then he used the technology he learned. Poor Kryptonians. They had nothing to worry about while their planet was whole. Who know who knows the the center of their planet contained all these fucking terrible colored rocks. <laughs> yeah, that would fucking kill them. <laughs> Exposed to it at any point. It is funny. It is like really ironically funny. It's like the only thing that can kill Superman is himself. There's some yeah, kind of sucks. Something poetic about that. The end. <laughs> Tune in next week. Or don't.